Welcome to ChemDoodle Shorts. I'm Mary, your ChemDoodle Pro. Let's learn about drawing enantiomers with Fisher projections. A Fisher projection is a two-dimensional drawing technique made up of horizontal and vertical lines that represents the stereochemistry of a three-dimensional molecule. It's commonly used to depict organic molecules with multiple chiral centers, such as carbohydrates like galactose and glucose. You've learned how to draw and decipher Fisher projections, so let's find out how to draw enantiomers. Consider the simple molecule, r methane. There are four groups attached, hydrogen, bromine, chlorine, and fluorine. These four different groups make this carbon atom a chiral center, depicted by the intersection of the horizontal and vertical lines. Recall that enantiomers are stereoisomers that are non-superimposable mirror images of each other. To draw the enantiomer, create the mirror image of the given molecule. With a Fisher projection, this is easily done by simply swapping groups to the left of the Fisher projection's vertical line with their corresponding group to the right of the vertical line. With this Fisher projection of r bromochlorofluoromethane the hydrogen and bromine atoms are exchanged, creating a mirror image with chlorine still at the top and fluorine to the bottom, but bromine is to the left instead of the right and hydrogen is on the right, rather than the left. We've changed the R enantiomer to the S enantiomer. Just a simple swap of the left and right groups in a Fisher projection produces the enantiomer. For confirmation and further visualization, let's redraw these Fisher projections with wedges and dashes. Recall that the horizontal lines of a Fisher projection are coming out of the plane of the screen, toward us, so both enantiomers can be represented with wedge bonds for hydrogen and bromine. The vertical lines of a Fisher projection are oriented into the plane of the screen, away from us, so the chlorine and fluorine have dashed bonds. On the left is a wedge and dash projection of r bromochlorofluoromethane, and on the right is a wedge and dash projection of s bromochlorofluoromethane. Let's visualize this simple molecule in 3D. Hydrogen is positioned to the left and bromine to the right. Both of these atoms are oriented toward us. Chlorine is to the top and fluorine is to the bottom. Both of these atoms are pointing away from us. This is the R enantiomer. When we switch the groups on the left with the groups on the right, we produce the enantiomer. This is now the S enantiomer. Matching what we drew earlier, chlorine and fluorine haven't changed positions relative to the chiral carbon, and they are both positioned away from us. Meanwhile, bromine is now on the left, and hydrogen is to the right. These two atoms are coming toward us. Now you understand that drawing the enantiomer from the Fischer projection of a molecule is as simple as swapping two groups on a chiral center. This makes it easy to draw the enantiomer of more complex molecules with numerous chiral centers such as glucose. This is D-glucose. To draw its enantiomer, let's start with the base Fisher projection. The vertical groups remain the same. At each chiral center, swap the group on the left with the group on the right. Here, the left hydrogen moves to the right side. At the next chiral center, the left OH group switches to the right side. At the next chiral center, the hydrogen on the left goes to the right. Finally, at the last chiral center, the left hydrogen swaps positions with the hydroxyl group. This is L-glucose. These two carbohydrates are enantiomers, non-superimposable mirror images of each other. You've learned that drawing enantiomers from a Fisher projection is a simple process of swapping two groups on a chiral center. Thanks for watching ChemDoodle Shorts.